This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everyone. It has been, what, like two months since the last time we That's played this? because I went back to college. <laughs> yeah, Marty doesn't really re remember anything about this okay, case. Okay, no, so, we, we uh, talked about it a little bit before starting recording, so I, I'm a little bit better up to speed. <laughs> President Middlefinger got killed got by killed. Uh, supposedly by a giant cow head getting pushed on which, him. Which, uh, the giant cow head belongs to Penny and the, uh, producing, the, mov the, the movie, movie company. studio, yeah. Uh, also, Courtney is suspected. Yes. Which makes no sense. Like, like it does, but... Uh-oh. There's it. no sound. That's kind of... There we go. There we Finally. Go. Everything... All right. All right. After way too long getting the settings filled out... We are finally continuing with the Grand, the grand turnabout. turnabout. We're still in the beginning, part one. Elaine Z was about to testify, so. Oh! Let's that's see what all we that's were. about. Okay. Yeah. Why Courtney? I, I don't know. Okay, this will help. Listen up! That woman met with the president on top of the Grand Tower. Two nights ago, she pushed the president off the roof, and then he fell onto this film lot. I guess he was wearing his, uh, his inflatable, muscular suit. Yep. <laughs> At the time, there was no one else on the rooftop, aside from those two. There's no room for doubt. That woman murdered the president. Uh-huh. It was just the two of them alone on the rooftop. No bodyguards? Yeah, I confirmed it with those bodyguards over there. They didn't know about it, either. Guess he managed to give them the slip. He must have had something secret to talk about. President Juan and Judge Courtney. Did those two have some sort of connection? Apparently, he had an arrangement with the owner at the Grand uh, Tower. He requested the entrance to the viewing platform be restricted so that they could be alone. Well, it's not like the owner could turn down a request from the president. It's not the president of this country. Does that mean the last person to see the president was... Exactly. Courtney, you mean. It's gotta be her. Agent Lane's reasoning is certainly sound. However, he has overlooked one major thing. And that's where I must strike. Wasn't Kay there too? Dying? Not dying. That was a she different fell. night. Why, That was Courtney? a different night? I think so. So let's look at all this. So we got the Yadagrasu's badge. We don't yep. have our prosecutor's badge because we gave it up. We sure letter, did. Letter from unknown. Yeah, that's right. Because the weird person called Kay over to Gord Lake, drugged her... And then somehow uh, got her to the Grand Tower where she got caught up in all this stuff. Yep. Uh, Grand Tower. There's the black market auctions being held on the 51st floor. Monster movie flyer for the mighty Mozilla vs. Gordy. Yep. <laughs> you I know would, that's going to be I important. I would watch that movie. Crime scene notes. Body surrounded by pieces of concrete. Yellow stain on his clothes. Yeah, because he ate mustard. <laughs> he ate a that's corn right. dog with too much mustard on yep. it. Yep. <laughs> Combination lock, the lock on the front entrance stayed locked. The rear entrance was forced open. Commemorative photo of Penny and John Marsh and the weird uh, That's gonna Mozilla fan. I was about to say, that's gonna be like so important. Watch. It'll be like his socks were a different color, which proves <laughs> that he like tripped here and like had these problems. Like it's yeah. gonna be something. Mozilla's head. Oh yeah, the creepy ugh. Yuck. Garbage. Uh, the Mozilla doll that the president had on his plane that was in the first it was the case. the opposite one that is falling off. And it, and it had the audio device on it. Monster's footprints, the concrete it is like broken. looks like a heart. It looks like a hoof print. Oh, you're right. Security camera photo, the president and Judge Courtney can be seen. <laughs> is there someone <laughs> hiding in the bush? Uh, I think those are flowers. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, bird. All right, and that's it. That's it. All right. Well, let's press, because that's what we always do. Yep. He's a dragon on his shirt. It took you two games to notice it that. It took me two games. How can you be so sure that the, the two actually met? Hmph. <laughs> Attacking right off the bat. Your fighter's instinct. It's not bad. Trying to keep me in check from the opening move. Impressive. No, that wasn't exactly my intention. Still, Mr. Prosecutor, I've only just begun, so why don't you pipe down and listen up? Two nights ago, she pushed the president off the roof, and then he fell onto the film lot. Two nights ago? Are you certain? Humph! If you doubt me, then take a look for yourself. This picture was taken by a security camera on the roof of the Grand Tower. 
This is undoubtedly taken the night before last. All this picture shows is that they went to the rooftop together. There's no indication of what transpired afterwards. The security's cameras were only installed in front of the elevator. Actually, no, I think this was the same night as... This was. I was about to say, yeah. and that's a huge issue if, there, <laughs> if Kay's there. Right. <laughs> they were only installed in front of the elevator. There's nothing to show what happened on the viewing platform, but... I'm certain of it. That was when the crime took place. Hmm. If the president really was murdered two nights ago, it would mean that the body has been here ever since. What's wrong, Mr. Prosecutor? Something on your mind? But it's not over yet. I'm just getting started. Wow. At the time, there was no one else on the rooftop aside from those two. Yeah, that's gonna be the one that we have to be like, yo, just a heads up. Someone could have been hiding on the viewing platform. That's right! There was even a cotton candy stall up there! The owner of the building has been secretly contacted by the president. He could ill afford any slip-up, so the owner frantically made sure secrecy was maintained. Everyone and everything was cleared out, including the sugar for the cotton candy. It, even the sugar? That's just too cruel! However, it was all for naught. The president still met his end. There's no room for doubt. That woman murdered the president. Do you really think there is no room for doubt? Heh, <laughs> of course I do! The time, the place, everything points to that woman committing the crime. I see. The time and the place, everything. Huh? The time following the president's death and where his body was found. It seems I have reached the heart of the matter. Agent Lane has overlooked something major. And that's where I must strike. So you think it was this one? Uh, yeah. Because Kay was there. If that means it works. Really? Apparently not. Agent Lane, that statement contradicts this piece of evidence. Mr. Prosecutor, are you playing games with me? Yeah. The evidence says it all. Did you? In that case, the evidence is lying through its teeth. No! So that wasn't it. Even if you defang him, he's still a wolf! As expected, he's tough. Yes, he's a worthy opponent indeed. Dang, what is it supposed to be then? Maybe that was just the wrong piece of evidence? Is it just the Yadagarasu badge or something? No. I don't think so. Wouldn't the security camera have gotten K if it was the same night? Oh wait, the commemorative photo probably doesn't show a dead body, right? Right. So then that's probably it. Yeah, two nights ago, but the commemorative photo says otherwise. Shilon Lane, for the Interpol agent with the highest arrest rate to have fallen so low. What you say? This is a commemorative photo taken by the staff at Global Studios. Everyone's got such great smiles! Well, except for John. This photo was taken yesterday. What? If Judge Courtney had murdered the president two days ago, then his body should have been here when the photo was taken. Oh! <laughs> Perhaps you should have listened a bit more carefully to those involved in the case. Questioning witnesses is one of the basic fundamentals of an investigation, is it not? I captured Mr. Ridgeworth's great smile! You really do look most alive when you're cornering your opponent. Grrr, just as I expected. It's been a while since it felt like this. Agent Lane, haven't you been a little hasty in your reasoning? <laughs> I don't need your advice. Lane Z says... The wrath of a wolf lasts a hundred years. My wow. anger towards the woman who killed the president cannot be suppressed. I too wish to capture the culprit. However, there is no doubt that the body appeared here last night. Therefore, the president could not have fallen to his death. Yeah! He was crushed by the monster head! The crime occurred here at the film lot, not on the rooftop of the Grand Tower. So, that's what you think. Still, I don't intend to stray from my logic, either. However, he could not have fallen to his death two nights ago. This photo proves that. 
Is that so? Think about it this way. Two nights ago, Courtney pushed the president off the roof and killed him. Afterwards, she snuck into the film lot to hide the body. In here? Wouldn't it be easy to hide a body in a costume or behind all this equipment? Then all she had to do was last night was to retrieve the body. Once we search the area, we'll know she, where she hid the body. Unfortunately, there is no need for a search. What you say? This piece of evidence proves that Judge Courtney could not have hidden the body. Well, uh, was she doing something yesterday? Maybe at the movies? She, <laughs> she went bowling. to the movies with her friends. She's bowling. Um, pieces of concrete surround him. There's a con combination lock. No one can get in. It was forced open last night. All the entrances to the film lot were locked. The chain of, on the back entrance was only cut last night. What? Therefore, Judge Courtney could not have entered the film lot two nights ago. Ah! Judge Courtney can jump the fence. <laughs> but the president could have only fallen two nights ago! Why are you so insistent that the crime occurred two days ago? Why? Because there's still more to the security camera footage. Ooh, I want to see. I want to hear. Why Courtney Part 2? A photo was recorded 20 to, uh, 10 to 20 minutes after the president went up to the roof with that woman. Okay. That woman, she came back down on the elevator alone. After that, there was no sign of the president getting on the elevator at all. There's no other way for the president to get down without using the elevator, is there? Ooh, what if he was at that uh, auction? The black market auction? What if he was trying to get that piece back to Zane Fa? The, the, the cow doll? Not, well, he could have tried to get that. He also could have, wasn't that, um, statue with the red eyes from Oh, there? the Aleph Red statue? Yeah. Oh, interesting. He could have tried to get either one of those. Courtney was like, this is the way to the illegal market. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Besides getting pushed off the roof by that woman, that is. The president never came down from the rooftop. That's right. The security camera's always watching the entrance of the elevator. It was specifically set up to record anyone who entered or exited the rooftop. Essentially, the camera created a locked room. One which the president vanished from. A locked room. I see. This is quite an unfavorable piece of evidence for Judge Courtney. Security yeah, camera really photo easy. data updated. He could have fallen down the, the place. A rooftop escape! That's a difficult feat. So even the Yadagarasu can't just fly through the sky. That's right. I... I still need more training to be able to pull that off. Are you saying you're going to train yourself to fly? <laughs> I wish I could fly. <laughs> Why Courtney Part 2? What was she- what were they doing for 10 to 20 minutes? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I don't know. Like, idle chats? Actually, I do know, but... <laughs> well, yeah, you do know, but I'm like... Were they, like, bonding over cotton candy, and then she's like, well, toodaloo! <laughs> yes. 10 to 20 minutes. That's rather vague. The problem here isn't when it happened. At least, not right now. What's important is what that woman did after that. What Judge Courtney did? Could you tell me about it in more detail? Hmph. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. That woman, she came back down on the elevator alone. Are you certain that she was alone in the elevator? Yeah, I'm sure. It'd have been 10 to 20 minutes after they went up to the roof. The security camera by the elevator only recorded that woman. She was definitely alone. I saw it with my own two eyes. Hmm. Judge Courtney returned alone on the elevator. This point seems to be accurate. Hmm, that's strange. Isn't Miss Courtney always together with the goddess of law? In this case, we aren't counting ethereal beings. Oh, poor goddess of law. We should give her an offering to lift her spirits. Returning to the topic at hand, Agent Lane, could the president have used the elevator after Judge Courtney? Yeah, I thought of that too. However, after that, there was no sign of the president getting on the elevator at all. Maybe he brought a parachute and wanted to go skydiving. <laughs> Bungie jumping off the roof. Then it snapped. <laughs> Ooh, that would be bad. Just to be sure, the camera didn't have any blind spots or malfunctions, right? You think I'd make a mistake like that? Are you mocking my investigation? No, it is simply my nature to question everything. <laughs> At any rate, this footage can be trusted. I'm sure of that. 
The president took the elevator on the way up with that woman, but he never came back down. Understood. While I reserve judgment on your logic, I shall trust in your investigation. Oh, is that how it is? Do what you want. It won't change a thing. There's no other way for the president to get down without using the elevator, is there? Are there no fire escapes? That's... that's, uh, illegal. Is it? Maybe and... not illegal in Japanifornia, though. And if there were, in fact, some other way besides the elevator? From the roof of a 50-story building? Ha! That's ridiculous. Without the elevator, there's no way to go down, let alone get off the viewing platform. There's not even any stairs? <laughs> That's not safe. You'll need something better than that to break my logic. Fire. A way to get off the rooftop viewing platform without using the elevator. How about it, Mr. Prosecutor? Do you understand now? There's no reason for the president to be lying sprawled out on the pavement here. Besides getting pushed off the roof by that woman, that is. Agent Lane, it's still too early to make that conclusion. <laughs> no matter how much you struggle, there's no escape from my fangs. I wonder about that. Perhaps there is a hidden route that allows us to escape from the locked room and your fangs simultaneously. Whoa! The, pro bleh, the proclamation of a... Oh my gosh, why can't I talk? The proclamation of a miraculous escape! Even a great thief's gotta pay attention! Jeez. Now you've said it, Mr. Prosecutor. If that's what you think, then show me. That hidden root of yours. A locked room created by the security camera. Is falling off the roof really the only way to escape this locked room? Uh, no. We know what we're doing. We're gonna get the platform. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there was one. A hidden route. That is. A way down without using the elevator? You'd better not tell me he flew off or something. He flew! <laughs> There's no need for that. It's quite simple. The president just needed to know about the existence of the hidden 51st floor. The 51st floor? This building has a hidden 51st floor. It is accessible through a secret hatch on the rooftop. Using that route, it would be possible to leave the rooftop without using the elevator. Hidden room? Secret hatch? How could the president have even known that? I wonder. I don't know the answer myself. I am merely raising a possibility. In the first place, what's this all about? The hidden 51st floor. Sounds like something that ninja girl over there would love to get into. No way! I'm sick of that place! For Kay, that place only holds bad memories, after all. The 51st floor was a secret storeroom for the black market auction. Its true purpose was only exposed yesterday. Black market auction? You. You aren't suggesting the president was involved in something like that, are you? I have no proof. However, the possibility exists, does it not? Hmm, I wouldn't put it past the president. Whoa! Ah! Impossible! The president would never... He would never be involved in a black market auction. He doesn't need to be involved in the black market auction. He could just, like... Dip out. Dip out. Yeah, he could literally just, like, go down the elevator and be like, Sorry, dudes. <laughs> what, Don't what's, mind me. What's this? You punks. Are you prepared? If you're gonna spout nonsense like that, I'll tear you to pieces. <laughs> she ran away. You don't have any idea. The amount of respect that man has earned from his country's people. I see. We have seen the president's true colors. However, the people of Zane Fa remain in the dark. Should I inform Agent Lane of the president's true nature? No. Telling him now would only be further cloud his judgment. I understand, Agent Lane. Please calm down. We spoke out of line. I apologize. Sorry. My emotions got the best of me. And Kay, how long do you plan on hiding? You can That's come Lane. out now. That was Lane, not uh, Edgeworth. That was Lane speaking? Yeah, it was. I didn't even think he knew her name. Apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry. That explains why Edgeworth's mouth wasn't moving. Yeah. It's fine. My anger is directed towards the president's killer. Well, Albie, you're actually a pretty good guy, ain't you? That law takes you your president. It's mighty admirable. Heh. <laughs> 
What's it to you? What? When did Lotta jump in here? She's always been Oh, here. that's right. She's she getting was, her scoop. She's getting her scoop. <laughs> yeah, basically. Aw, don't be like that. I got some good news for you, I reckon. What? The president ain't never passed through the 51st floor. You can count on me. Really? Oh, crap. I was in the storeroom myself, and I saw it with my very own eyes. That's right. She snuck into the storeroom that day. And the dead body was in the other hiding place. So it's not right. like the president was hiding there. Lada's testimony jotted down in the organizer. Maybe he gave Lada 220s. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. What is it? I don't intend to give the culprit a single step of leeway. No one's seen the president since he met with Courtney two days ago. That doesn't change the fact that the body wasn't here yesterday. If he were pushed us if he were pushed off two days ago, it would be odd that he wasn't found until yesterday. I doubt a fall from the roof would take a whole day. No! It's like it's um like what's his face from Jingle the Way? Jamie! Like, Jamie! <laughs> I'll admit, there are a few fiends I still haven't figured out. Regardless, there is one thing I am certain of. There is? What exactly occurred here last night? I'm certain we'll have to look into that in order to uncover the truth. Because the body in the hoof prints could only have appeared last night, right? <gasps> oh, Penny's there too. Oh, it's it's a random police officer! Oh, uh, you can voice. I was about to say, otherwise rock, paper, scissors, who's gonna voice No, you, you can voice. Uh, oh, shoot. Mmm... I have no idea what to do for him. Agent Lang, we'd like to bring the body in for the autopsy. Juan, it's in your hands. Make sure you show the proper respect. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh. I also have one more thing to report. What is it? We found some footprints near the body. Um, they were left within the area that looked like the monster's footprints. <laughs> There were human footprints within the monster's footprint. What kind of footprints? Sir, they were the footprints of a child about the size of an elementary school student. That guy what? Is, that guy smokes a lot. Uh-huh. An elementary school student? Wait, could it be? Who was that? Um. Miss Nichols? I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please for excuse my rudeness. Is there something you want to say? What is she so scared of? I'm worried that you think poorly of me, but... Please let me testify something. It's really important. That's not something you need to be so worried about. What is it? Last night, I... I actually came here. What? <laughs> Why did you come here? Well, I got a little worried, so I stopped by. To check up on John. John? You mean John Marsh? As I thought. What? D d does John sleep in the alleyways of the movie theater? <laughs> he's, he's like with his milk just on the side of the road like, yo. <laughs> yes. Last night, um, John stayed here late in order to practice by himself. Wow, he's really dedicated. Well, this movie is the first time he's starring as the lead role, so I'm sure he wants to do his best. She must have witnessed something last night. When was this? Oh, that's right! Now I remember some of this. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it was a little past 10 p.m. That's against child labor laws. <laughs> go go home, it's, kid! It's Japanifornia. <laughs> it looked like it was going to rain, and I was getting worried, so I came to check up on him. And when I got here, well, I, um... You saw something? Yeah. John was practicing by himself. And right above his head, I saw a long, long neck. A neck? Yes. Its skin was really scaly. Almost like a reptile. It was like the neck of a dinosaur. Whoa there! Could, could that have been... G -G -G Gordy? Last time I went hunting for it, it was a bust. But I reckon this could be the first real deal! What? So this time it's Gordy? Th that's right. I was really surprised. A after all, John is a boy who can't communicate- Or he can communicate with Mozilla. It's a f movie! 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Them hordes of him let, let him hear what the monster's was saying, right? E even so, he was looking up at Gordy's face and he was talking to it. Meanwhile, the president was behind Gordy's mask, like, Hello, John! <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah. It was like they were friends. Does that sound weird? Here's the thing, and this is a very legit acting strategy, is like acting to an inanimate object. Mm -hmm. It's very, it actually, people do this too for um, programming, I figured out. They have like, one of my friends at college said they have programming ducks, where you get a rubber duck Quack. and you tell it all of the coding that you need to learn and remember, and then like, I don't know. Okay. It's like something random, but yeah. Also, just saying your lines and then saying them back and forth to an inanimate object kind of helps you get in the zone for acting. I'm in so the zone, Sullivan. But I don't know. You said it, sister. That's pretty darn strange, I reckon. That boy's a little traitor. It seems she's gotten reality mixed up with the movies. Hey, Missy. Did you really see that? Yes, but I was so shocked I immediately ran home after that. What do you make of this, Mr. Prosecutor? Has another monster taken the stage? Agent Lane, do you really believe this absurd testimony? <laughs> I couldn't care less about the monsters. However, it looks like who we need to talk to next has been decided now, hasn't it? John Marsh. He was here last night. So, here's what? the thing that's confusing. The lock wasn't broken until last night, right? Right. So did she break the lock? Did John break the lock? Or did Courtney seriously break that lock? One of them did it. They don't need to break the lock because they know the password to get in. Maybe Courtney was just like, bro, I gotta get into the movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's very likely he saw something, isn't it? Attaboy. Attaboy, Harry. John Marsh, we've got some questions for you. Um, John kind of left a while ago. What? Let's go after him. <laughs> what? Lana runs so weirdly. Yeah, she does. She runs like a frog. <laughs> April 6th, 10.54 a.m. outside the Grand Tower, Tower Plaza. Oh, there's a cab driver, dude. Yes, there is. He looks like that dude from Ocean's Eleven. I haven't seen that. I just saw it the other day. <laughs> Where'd he run off to? He might have just gone back home. That's right! I mean, it doesn't look like they're gonna get any filming done today. Day off. Or he may have run away. Aren't you just overthinking things? He's still a child. I can't imagine that he could have murdered the president by himself. Who said he was all alone? Maybe that monster helped him. That boy can summon a monster to his aid, right? In the movies. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not saying that kid's definitely the culprit. But right now, he's the most prominent witness we have. So we'll need to find that brat. Oh boy! Two! Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! Ah, uh, Gummy! Uh, I... I... What? He ran away! What is the detective doing? It doesn't matter. It's not like I can rely on this country's police anyways. Wow! Agent Lane, do you intend to continue investigating by yourself? Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that? Didn't you always have a small army of subordinates with you before? That's right. But you know, being a lone wolf isn't all that bad. You don't have to worry about your subordinates or partners. All you need are your fans. Simple, right? Subordinates and partners. Well then, I'll be seeing you two. <sighs> Peace! Taxi, take me to Pizza Hut. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. I reckon I'm about to get myself real busy myself. After all, I got me a pair of monsters to hunt. I'm definitely getting my hands on this scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Things have gotten pretty crazy, haven't they? Indeed. There's the footprints of Muzilla, and now the shadow of Gordy. It's almost exactly like the movie. How about we go monster hunting too? Well... Hmm? Isn't that... Isn't that one of Lang's men? He's one of Agent Lang's subordinates. We met him during another case. Oh, is he uh, almost hit by, uh, by the pre when they were shooting the president? No. He was in the last game. 
Oh. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, Prosecutor Edgeworth, it has been a while. Shouldn't you be following Mr. Lane? Agent Lane, Shifu, I'm no longer his, he's no longer my boss. <laughs> what exactly happened? Do you remember the incident from one month ago? Who could forget when the people... <laughs> oh, the Ugwe incident, the Yadagarasu incident that we had been involved with. Agent Lane made a major mistake back then. He almost aided and abetted a dangerous criminal. Certainly. It had come quite close to that at the time. <sighs> the Shifu took responsibility for what happened, and our team was disbanded. Disbanded? So that's what Agent Lane was talking about when he said he had become a lone wolf. Yeah, it's not gonna look good if his number two was, like, a huge part of the smuggling reign. Yeah. Then, why are you here? That's... well... I was a little worried about Shifu. It seems that even now, he's still chasing after them. The ghosts of 12 years past. Ghosts of 12 years past? Just what are you... I'm sorry. I've already said too much. If you'll excuse me. See ya, men in black. Alien attack. These ghosts Agent Lane is chasing after. Do they also have something to do with this case? Looks like everyone's left now. So, what do we do now? Well, Miss Hart is going after the monsters, and Agent Lane is going after John. We should also try approaching this case from a different angle. What angle would that be? We should listen to what Judge Courtney has to say. Ah, that's right! If I'm not mistaken, Miss Courtney is... in jail. Well then, I shall take my leave here. I will be presiding over Patricia Roland's trial. Oh yeah, Patricia. She said that yep. she had a trial coming up. Indeed. Let's head to the courthouse as well. Roland, not Roland. Okay! Oh, we didn't get to talk to Gus! <laughs> okay, let's, let's have, have some fun. fun. <laughs> okay, I if memory serves, I think the next to be, be continued continue. segment is like three hours away or something. <laughs> There's one segment in between the two be continues that's like hours long, which is like crazy. Dang. Anyhow, that's where we're going to end the episode for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. I believe next time is where the case is going to start getting pretty interesting. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Ooh.